James here with KM Hobbycraft. We're here at Velocity RC. It's the only indoor off-road car for track in Calgary. As you can see, we're with owner-operator Gary Flegel. Hi. Gary, so uh, what uh, what made you want to start the, the indoor track here and go with carpet instead of dirt? Uh, the growing trend right now throughout the world is indoor carpet racing. Um, they found that current generations of, of racers are liking the carpet more than they are the dirt. Okay. New trend, it was started in Europe probably about six years ago, and it's really taking off in North America. Nice. So I thought, we need a good place to, to, to race indoors with carpet, so I built it. I guess no dirt, nobody has to clean their cars really that much. I see you have a compressor, it probably doesn't get used a lot, eh? Yeah. No, it's, nice it's, it's pretty yeah. quiet. There's a little, little bit of uh, carpet and tire dust, but nothing nice. too dramatic. Nice, so. cool. How big is the facility here? How big is the track? I mean, just to give the, some perspective. The track itself is 80 by 36 in size. Lends itself to some really close racing. We've oh, had a lot awesome. of fun for the last five weeks. I bet, yeah. So. And when did, you, when did you guys first open? You said five weeks ago? Yes, we okay. opened up at the uh, beginning of October. Nice. And uh, it's been a steady, right? Okay. Uh, got lots of new people showing up. Cool. And uh, we're just slowly growing. Mm -hmm. Track's great, good layout, good flow. Uh, just try to avoid hitting the walls. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's good fun. Tons of grip, tons of traction, right? Tons of grip, yeah, lots of traction. You don't have to worry about the weather. Yeah, no doubt. What, uh, what classes do you guys run here? Like, do you guys um, do all the classes? Do you do some, some not? We're, we're all 10 scale. Okay. And we are running primarily uh, two wheel drive, four wheel drive, and short course trucks. Oh, nice. And with the two wheel drive division, yeah. we're running a stock spec class. Okay. So all the vehicles, we want them, we want it to be a as even playing field for the new people as possible. Okay. And what do you think about racing on a Velocity RC on the carpet? I really like it. It's fun. It's a lot faster than yeah. racing um, on dirt tracks. Yeah. So you need like reflexes. You need like okay. good reflexes to do it. And we have had a lot of interest lately on rustlers and bandits. Okay. So if we have enough of them out, we'll have them racing also. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. That's cool. What are your hours of operation? I'm sure everybody wants to know when they can get out here and play, right? You have yeah. practice days, race yeah. days, how does that all work? We work uh, Thursdays from six till 10 okay. is practice, and then we race every Sunday. Okay. And the doors are open at nine. We generally right. get started by about 11 or 11.30. Gives people time to uh, practice, play a little bit. Right on. And then we start racing and we're usually wrapped up by about 4.30ish, 5 o'clock on Sundays. So far it's been right really on. good. Uh, it's been a difference from going from dirt clay to carpet, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah. And the grip is next to nothing I've ever experienced before. Yeah. So Racing's really close and tight though. Oh, and it's yeah. been really competitive. We've always said that if we run out of space, it's a good yeah. problem to have. It is. Yeah, that's right. So for right now, even though it doesn't look like it, the facility can house 75 racers. Oh, wow. It's tight. Yeah. But we can put 75 people oh, nice. in here racing, nice. right? That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. And we'll just see how things go, yeah. right? If we need to, our landlords are amazing. Wow, that's we'll cool. actually be able to probably put a hole in the side of the building and put another wing on it if we wanted oh, to. Wow. Sky's the limit. Oh, that's right. awesome. We'll, yeah. we'll see what happens. Cool. Uh, I do know that with our actual racing track itself, we'll end up creating a little bit more dynamic style jumping and stuff like that right okay. now. Our, our jumps and stuff are fairly basic, but uh, Pretty decent for sure. we, yeah. we, we do have some special jumps being worked on right now oh, that nice. eventually we'll be cool. unveiling. Yeah, what do you think of the facility, Ryan? Amazing facility. It's clean, easy to get to. Yep. No mess to clean up after. People are great. Have awesome. problems, they'll give you a hand. Nice. Everybody kind of works together and helps everybody out. And Most definitely. Yeah. Definitely an environment for new people so we can get them out and Make life easy. That's what racing is all about. That's cool. And it's nice we can change the jumps anytime we want. If something doesn't work out, not like dirt, where 
yeah. you're stuck for the whole season on a track that doesn't work or you oh, just change awesome. stuff up. And awesome. Everyone seems to be having a lot of fun. We plan on having awards and prizes for the winners in the independent okay. divisions, right? Nice. Um, and they'll be tailored towards what the person's racing right now. Okay. So take a two-wheel stock buggy. Yep. If the person who wins that, we're looking at getting them a speed control and a modified motor so they can move up to the modified division. Cool. So, nice. you know, we're, we're putting a little bit of work nice. into that and as the sponsors come online, we'll make more announcements. Nice. And, uh, yeah. Is this, is this a seasonal facility for you? Or are you planning on doing something in the summer? Or have you thought that far ahead? Or it all depends <laughs> on how it goes? It, 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 it all depends on how it goes, right? Okay. Um, at this point in time, I'm planning on closing the facility two weeks before the outdoor racing season right. starts. Okay. But that could change, right? Happen. That's just okay. a very tentative plan. All right. If uh, there's a lot of people that want to actually race, yeah. then the facility stay open all year. All right, well, that's right? cool. It's, it's completely dependent on the people. Yeah, right? perfect. Uh, I want to make sure everybody gets lots of track time and always have a smile on their face. Awesome. That's critical for me. No, it looks like it's a great place. Everybody seems to be smiling, having lots of fun. It's a great facility. Thanks for having us. So we Thank appreciate you. doing the filming for you. Awesome. And uh, Thank Gary Flossy RC, James became Hobbycraft, and uh, thank you very much.